What is good guys, it's your boy Ray J back with another video and in this video I'm going to be talking about the one and only Xbox stock and why I'm still super bullish for the near term and long term futures. I'm also going to talk about the overall stock market and the latest pieces of news that just came out that are definitely going to affect it and Xbox in return. I'm also going to talk about the latest pieces of news affecting Xbox as well and what Xbox put on their Twitter page that makes me even more bullish and excited for the future as they have been awarded a very very prestigious award. Now before I say anything about their Twitter page though, before I say anything about the price movement and the technical analysis i do have to mention some very important things first first off i'm not a financial planner guys this is all for entertainment purposes only and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this and not only benefits me but the entire xbox community as a whole and the last things if you guys can please check out the moomoo link down below in the description if you do sign up for moomoo you're not only going to qualify for an iphone 13 pro giveaway meaning you may win an iphone 13 pro but you're also going to get up to five free stocks each with up to three thousand five hundred dollars so with that out of the way guys let's get on with the video so so Xbox is looking really good at the time I'm recording this. It's actually running up to the green right now. It's up about 0.63%. However, guys, even though it's looking really, really good, I do have to discuss some very important things first. So the thing about Xbox is it tends to run with the overall market because if I show you guys the S&P chart, it's almost identical, right? I had Xbox, now I have the S&P. And as you guys can see, the S&P and the overall market are in the green right now because of some good pieces of news that just came out. Obviously, President Joe Biden announced that he did not want more lockdowns in the United States, which was a good sign and there's also this piece of news coming out because of the fact that the U.S. financial conditions remain easy even as the Fed pulls back on stimulus so they are tapering on the bond purchasing which I do think can be good for our economy as it's becoming more uh, independent so to speak without as much government interference but at the same time they are going to be raising interest rates in the next upcoming months which could be a little bit negative for the market but that's many months away guys it won't start until like april to june of 2022 so that in turn is actually causing people to be happy because if you look at the fear and greed index people are not as fearful as before if you guys go back like a week and a half ago it was extremely fear that's where the uh, index was showing and then it went up to like the fearful side at around like 35 or 36 now it's at 42 which means that the higher the numbers go, the better it is. And we're getting less fearful and getting closer to the greedy side. That's a very good sign, guys. And that means the market is not just capitulating, but we could see all-time highs once again. It's looking very strong right now. So how is this going to affect Xbong in the future? And I need to talk about that real quick. So as you guys can see, Xbong was once at $56 a share. Then it had a very big crash with the overall market, especially when there were delisting fears and all these crazy things going on. But now we're starting to see a very good recovery. It looks very very vertical so to speak and i think it looks very good but the problem is we are hitting some levels of resistance very soon which could cause some how should i say high volatility to start very soon let's look at, at a fibonacci retracement chart real quick and as you guys can see we have resistance coming up at around i would say close to the 47 dollar range and we're currently at 46 and kind of starting to see some volatility but once we get as high as like 47 we're going to see very high resistance at that range but do i think we're going to break past it that is is dependent on the overall market and i do think that we're going to have a santa rally so it seems more probable that we're going to keep on running up to the mid to high 40s very very soon the high 40s should be coming but once again we do have to watch out for this resistance there could be days where we don't break it like that quickly and it may take a little bit of time but it's looking pretty good right now very steady now let's look at some technical indicators before i talk about the news and what they just put on their twitter page guys as i do have some big updates for you guys look at the current uh uh indicators right now and you guys can see right here we're now trading at the higher range of these exponential moving averages we're now treating them as support which is another bullish indicator we do see this reversal after we bounced off the 38 dollar range so we're looking pretty strong right now we're moving above the exponential moving averages and we're looking pretty good in that sense now the cci is showing that we're getting right back on track the rsi is at 64.85 showing strength and the macd has not crossed with the nine day moving average just yet showing some bullish momentum perpetuating once again green histograms are showing we should be continuing on this upward trend but we do have resistance coming up so it, it may not be as vertical as right now we might see a little bit of volatility but i am still very bullish and optimistic i do think we're going to see a santa rally next week especially and i do think we're going to continue on this run now once again this is not guaranteed as there could be some crazy piece of news that could kind of change the dynamic but at the end of the day that does not matter because right now i'm not worried about that right now at the time i'm recording this the market looks very very bullish now with that that out of the way guys let's just talk about what's going on with the news because we do have some good updates to talk about and that's the fact that 
Xmong has been eyeing on increasing shipments to Europe. Once again, a very bullish indicator. They're, as the CEO said, they don't want to just be selling their cars to China. They want more than half of their sales to be overseas as well, which I just think is a very, very good bullish sign, guys. They are going to be starting exports to Denmark, Sweden, and the Netherlands in 2022. That's very good for their you know, quarterly earnings reports, their revenue, their uh, fundamentals and everything like that so that makes me even more bullish for the future and the company is doing really well in that sense i also want to talk about what the monthly fool has been saying they didn't release this yesterday but i just want to bring back something else they stated they stated why shares of electric vehicle maker xbox soared today and you guys could see that there's a lot of very very good positive sentiment with their deliveries and the deliveries are increasing 285 percent year over year once again they're absolutely crushing it and i just can't wait for what the future is going to hold now a big thing to be talking about is the fact that their g9 suv will be supporting the x pilot 4.0 which in turn is very very bullish news guys they're now entering the ai sector as well and i also want to talk about their g3 as well as that has also been ranking as one of the top quality compact battery powered electric cars in the jd power 2021 study so once again their SUV is crushing it. It's one of the top electric cars out there. And I'm very excited for what else this thing has to do because once again, it shows its intelligence. It's a robot as well integrated within the car. That's very cool, guys. I've never seen an SUV like this and I'm very excited for what else they have coming up. I also want to talk about their sedan. Their beautiful P7 it has super long range technology and it's very, very cool. It's very affordable. As you guys can see, it uses the X-Pilot 3.0 and it's getting better as time progresses. It has a very long range of 706 kilometers and i'm just very excited for what else this thing has going on we have very high level functional safety scores guys 8x enhanced data security very very awesome guys 100 percent connectivity very very cool i'm very excited for what else this car is going to do in the future and the fact that it's using autonomous technology as well for driver assistance is very very awesome guys it's very luxurious very good car it's very affordable and i can't wait for what else they have coming up for the future now this leads me to this final article right here before i get on with what on earth is going on with um their twitter page right and you guys can see right here they did close at very high rates quite recently showing a bullish bullish indicator now there are a lot of analysts saying that this thing has a lot of potential too guys and i think that this company tends to be trivialized there are not as many people that know about it that should and I do think that it can easily hit many, many, many high numbers very soon. I'm talking about all-time highs early next year. I wouldn't be surprised whatsoever. And at the end of the day, guys, I'm very, very bullish. Now, let's just end the video with this right over here. Check this out right here. Xpong put it on their Twitter that the Xpong P5 was rewarded the top 10 car of the year by uh, Chuan Yan. I know I'm not sure if I said that right, but that's the reward of 2022. The Oscar of China's auto industry once again absolutely crushing it hashtag built by xbong they just crushed it guys they got a very prestigious award and we should definitely congratulate them for this this is a very bullish piece of news as they are ranked as one of the top car makers of the year very very exciting guys i'm very very proud of this company and i just think it has so much potential for the future as it's putting its hands in many different sectors from the energy sector to the ai to the car the automobile industry they are just going to crush it now i see their number is getting better i see the company doing better and i see them really really going global very soon i can't wait for what the share price is going to show and i'm still very bullish so with that said and done guys thank you for listening i hope you have all a very very good uh christmas weekend i hope you guys have the best christmas weekend and i really hope that you all take care so thank you for listening have a great rest of the day and i'll see you in the next one xbox to the moon and peace out